Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine, your host. I have a co-host in the kitchen this morning. Oh, yeah, you do. Joseph, my son. <laughs> We're going to make breakfast casserole using delicious hash brown patties. Now, these are the frozen types, and they look like this here, and they come in a package of about 10 but we may need about eight of them, we'll see. So the first thing that's gonna happen is Joseph is going to use a large skillet here, put it on medium high heat. Now I'm chopping up a bell pepper and one yellow onion. I'm gonna start heating up one tablespoon of some cooking oil. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of butter to that. We'll give some flavor to our peppers and onions as we're cooking those up. All right, now that we got a nice sizzle going on with the butter and the oil, I'm going to go ahead and place the peppers in since they cook the longest. Then I'm going to just really quickly cut up the yellow onion. I'm going to give it a nice dice. I'm going to go ahead and add that. We're just going to cook this for about two to three minutes. Okay. Sausage. I've got some, this is the Jimmy Dean variety of breakfast sausage. It's maple flavor. You can use any flavor that you want. Now, we tend to like the Jimmy Dean variety because it's got a lot of flavor in it. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to cut it open. And then I'm going to have Joseph cook this up with the peppers and the onions. This is my favorite part, by the way. <laughs> there I you like, go. I like chopping the meat up. He does. Okay, we're going to chop up the sausage and cook it until it is no longer pink and it's broken up with the peppers and the onions. It smells so delicious. It does. Peppers, onions, and then sausage. That will wake up everybody in the morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I have other breakfast casseroles out there, and I will link them down below if you want to check out more ways to make a breakfast casserole. You can use crescent rolls, biscuits, regular hash browns. There's just so many ways to make them delicious and make it different each time. All right, we're almost done browning up the sausage. We're going to use a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm just going to take some cooking spray and spray the inside of it. Okay, so our sausage is fully cooked, so we're going to turn off the burner. We're going to take our hash brown patties, and I'm going to have Joseph lay them down in a single layer in our 9 by 13 sprayed baking dish here. Okay, we got nine of them in there. We had one one left here. Yep. <laughs> we could just fry that one up. He's the odd one out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take the cooked sausage, peppers, and onions, and we're just going to ladle it all over the hash browns. It's gonna be hard not to stick a spoon in there and eat it. Oh, I've thought about it. it smells delicious. I thought about sneaking some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sneaking some. Did y'all hear that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know him on my shows. So the hash browns can go into the dish frozen, and that's totally fine. Leave it kind of crumbly. That way, when we do our egg mixture, it has a place to go all down into the bottom of the dish. While he's finishing putting the sausage on our hash browns, let's talk cheese. Oh, well, we can talk cheese. Yeah. <laughs> 16 ounces of cheese are going on here. Now, you can put whatever you want on there. Any type of cheese. Now, we have a sharp cheddar and we have a cheddar jack. So we're gonna sprinkle both of these across the top of the sausage. And again, don't pack it in, just kind of loosely do that. 
We're gonna see who gets it on there first. You would give me the package of cheese that doesn't open for nobody. All right, I'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You need some scissors. What did you for do to it? <laughs> I'm gonna cut down here. <laughs> All right. There we go. Love this thick cut cheese right here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm, very good. Okay, we were kidding. We only put one and a half cups of cheese on there. 12 ounces. All right, we're gonna set this aside. All right, we got a large bowl that we brought over and Joseph's gonna crack nine eggs into the bowl using his one-handed method. Yep. Now to the eggs, we're gonna add half a cup of heavy whipping cream or half and half or milk. That all? That's all nine. All right, no shells in there, we're good. And it's okay to crack your eggs into the bowl if you're doing it first, because then you can look for your shells. If you're adding them later, then you can do them one at a time. All right, we need to season these eggs up. Okay, so we're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of some garlic powder. Now you can whisk this all together with a whisk or you can get an egg beater, which we have right here. And then Joseph's gonna go to town. Yep, because I'm the egg beater. He's the egg beater. <laughs> We're going to bring over our casserole. All right, Joseph's gonna take a ladle and scoop the egg mixture all over our casserole here. I'm gonna link a playlist down below of videos that Joseph has been in, if y'all wanna see more. For the most part, he does Mexican dishes with me mm -hmm. and also casseroles for breakfast like this here. Oh yeah. He just recently did a walking taco casserole with me. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that one down below. Okay, get all that goodness out of there. We've got our oven preheating at 350 degrees. We're going to place a foil sheet across the top of our baking dish and seal it really good. Is that sealed? <laughs> place this in our oven for 25 minutes. We're going to take the foil off. We're going to put it in for an additional 20 to 25 minutes until the eggs are nice and set and that cheese is melted and golden brown. We're going to be back and then finish this off for you. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Okay, we've just pulled this out of the oven. We gave it a little shake. It's definitely set. I did a toothpick test in the center of this casserole and pulled it out to make sure that there was no wet egg in there. So what we're gonna do now is allow this to rest for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna dive in. Mmm. Oh my. Let me bring this to you. There we go, all the layers. The hash brown, the sausage, peppers and onions, cheese, and the egg, and then I topped it with some fresh chopped green onions for another layer of flavor. Joseph and I are gonna give this a try. Ooh, it's about time. How big do you want it, Joseph? Well, you know, you can cut right here. The whole thing? You can cut right there. That's y'all's, the rest is mine. <laughs> All of this over here, it's mine. Mm. Oh, there you go. It's still steaming. It is still steaming. <laughs> and it's still looking delicious. And a fork. And a fork. Look how it cut out of there. Perfect. Nice squares. Yeah. Nice and firm. Oh, here we go. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. That's phenomenal. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Got my husband, Thomas, and Rihanna in there saying, hurry up. <laughs> yeah, they're not happy we get the taste. <laughs> they're not. All those delicious flavors. Y'all got to try this one. If you try this one, let me know. Come back to my comments or anywhere and let me know how you like this breakfast casserole with hash brown patties made by Joseph. And mom. <laughs> and mom. <laughs> okay, give you a thumbs up. If y'all are new to my channel, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. And everybody, make sure that you go over by the subscribe button and make sure that you have clicked all videos. That way YouTube will send them out when I post them. I'm on Facebook. I have a recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, where you can also find my cookbooks and more recipes. Guys, <laughs> we will see you on the next episode. Yep, we will see you next time. All right.